At one point or another, we've all had problems with our banks, right? But one local gun manufacturer says Bank of America made a decision that could have cost them thousands. It is a story you'll see only on CBS 5. Here's Greg Argos. Yeah, guys, you know, when you see this manufacturing facility right here, it looks like so many other companies. But it's what this company right here in Scottsdale is making that's causing it a bit of trouble. This is one of our new models for 2013, which is Joe Sirachman owns Scottsdale based American Spirit Arms. Everything is American made, even down to the metal that we buy. He's been making rifles and firearms for more than a decade. Everything is built and machined and produced right here on site. So out here what we got um, is the manufacturing floor here. The gun's design assembled and tested all from this plant. The machine, that's it. And since mid-December, business has been booming. Our internet sales started to really increase, which uh, the deposits really spiked. We basically got um, five times our normal deposit was coming from our e-commerce site. But what slowed down was the time it took for Bank of America to deposit cash into his company's accounts. Bank of America decided to put those deposits, what they called, under review. Those holds only supposed to take 48 hours, but Joe says hours turn to days, then weeks. You're talking about payroll, you're talking about paying our vendors, you're talking about, you know, keeping the lights on type of thing. I had to actually start pulling from my own personal stuff to keep the business running. And so he called the bank, and you may not believe what Joe says he was told. We believe that you shouldn't be selling guns and parts on the internet. For exact words, mm -hmm. your response. I said, this is ridiculous. I'm appalled. So Joe went online. It all started with just a very simple post. And wrote about the account on his Facebook page. And that's when things changed. They started to take notice. The deposits have been released, but Joe ended his 10-year relationship with Bank of America, now working with a local bank. Well, what's being made right here is the lower receiver. While working hard to fulfill weeks of back orders. In Scottsdale, Greg Argos, CBS 5 News.